Rolling Willis, Omen Stories. Just driving and driving and driving into the center of the universe. Jeff, I started driving when I was about 12. And I was fairly big for my age, but I really loved driving. When I was 12, my dad and I went out every Saturday night for the Minneapolis Star and Tribune and we delivered papers. And we drove all around Minnesota and delivered bundles to different small towns who then distributed them to the paper boys and they delivered them. Well, my dad would let me drive when no one was around and it was like one in the morning and we were on back roads and there was nothing out in Minnesota and sometimes in the winter time and then there was even less. Well, every once in a while he'd get really tired and he'd fall asleep. So when I was 13, I'd been already driving over a year. And we were delivering papers in southern Minnesota. And I had driven through a whole bunch of small towns, and he just let me drive through them because no one ever said anything. And one morning, it was a little after dawn, and it was light outside. And my dad fell asleep, he really was tired. And so I decided I could drive through the town of Elbert Lee, Minnesota. Well, Elbert Lee, Minnesota is a bigger town. And I got about three quarters of the way through town, and I thought I'd made it. And all of a sudden, I seen a police car drive by me, going the other direction. And I said, I hope he missed it. And about a minute later, I looked in the back, and there was the red lights blinking. So, being a superhero, I said, Dad, Dad, <laughs> the cops are behind us. My dad woke up and said, take it easy, son. And so he went out and the, and the policeman said, if your son wasn't so short behind the wheel, he said, I don't let it go. He looks a little older, but you're gonna have to Show me his license. Well, he doesn't have a license. So my dad had to come back up to Albert Lee the next week with me. We had to go to court, and he got a fine. This was back in the early 50s of $300. That was a killer. So I learned that I should wait till I'm 16. However, when I was 14, they sent me to the farm. Now on the farm, you get away driving. So I had the opportunity to drive tractor. Man, I can drive tractor. All you do is just follow this furrow, and you could just drive and drive and drive all day. And they were thrilled because they didn't. And then, when it got to be fall, that was exciting driving. Man, that was exciting. Because I got to drive the trucks, and I would drive, and I'd go alongside the combines. A combine is a machine that picks up wheat 
and it strips it and it puts just the wheat kernels in a big bucket. And then it has an arm that sticks out the side. And you drive under the arm and then they push a button and it empties into the truck. Well, for the amateurs, they stop and then they drive and then they empty it and then they start again. Well, within a couple days, I was driving next to a man. I felt like the most important person in the whole world to be able to drive next to a combine. Man, was that cool. And then, to top it all off, they let me drive the combine. Man, was I, I just was thrilled, 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 thrilled. And got to the end of the summer, and man, I thought it was the most wonderful summer that I'd ever had. And all the farm kids looked at me like, you're some kind of weirdo. <laughs> but that was a great summer of driving. Roland Willis driving back, just turning home. Nice journey.